Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and today is going to be about barrels. Imagine that you have a FX Impact Mark II with a 500mm liner and you're dying to find out what it will perform if you exchange it with a 600mm liner. Today I'm lucky enough to uh, have both guns, both the Mark II and the, the new M3 uh, and the M3 has the 600mm liner so we'll be testing out what is the advantages of changing your barrel on your Mark II from a 500mm liner into a 600mm liner. And today I'm accompanied by my good friend Stefan. And uh, he's also the, the magic man of, uh, of uh, spare parts uh, in carbon. And uh, I'll, use, I'll introduce you to that uh, a little later. But here is how it's going to work out. Uh, Stefan is going to fire his gun first uh, with a 500mm liner uh, and we're going to uh, test uh, it for velocities. He's going to shoot around 10-15 shots or so and after that we'll change uh, his uh, liner uh, with the one that I have on the M3, uh, the 600mm liner. But before we start shooting, let's introduce the barrels. Okay, welcome to Dr. Viking Air Gunner's Masterclass in Barrels. Uh, as you can see here, there's a 500 and a 600 millimeter barrel, but you actually can't see it because they're exactly the same length. So uh, we had to actually had to, to mark uh, the barrels to see uh, which one is which. But um, they're exactly the same uh, and that's uh, why we can test them up uh, against each other. They have both the um, Huma dual transfer port on it, as you can see here. And I was talking about that in my, uh, my last video where I introduced the, the M3 of what the dual transfer port really does. So in case that you, you don't know this, go back and check out that video. It's going to make a huge difference installing this, especially if you're shooting uh, slugs. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have um, the barrel housing is uh, uh, carbon and that's, uh, that's one that uh, Stefan makes. Um, inside it, uh, there's a carbon uh, barrel sleeve on, uh, on both the guns. And on top of that, we both have uh, pin probes uh, in our guns and Stefan also makes those. And just fiddling here, a little commercial, uh, he also makes these uh, really, really cool uh, magazines uh, with the, where you can, you can see how many uh, shots are left and everything, so yeah. Enough commercial for this one, but uh, anyway, uh, this is the barrel that we're, we're using for the test. So uh, now let's go on with the testing. Okay, now we're all set up and, uh, and ready to shoot. Stefan has uh, taken the position uh, with, the, with the Mark II and uh, we're ready to go. But uh, before we start uh, filming uh, the, um, the chrono, let's go into the settings on, uh, on Stefan's gun. He has the regulator set at uh, around uh, 126 and uh, the front valve is at two and a half, and we don't really remember what the power wheel is at, but uh, by some miraculous thing out here in the forest, it's just standing right here on the bottom of the screen. That's magic. But yeah, let's start the shooting and see what the velocities are with a setup like this and a superior liner in 500 millimeters. Okay, that was uh, 10 shots and uh, a pretty decent string, I would say. Um, as you can see here, it has, uh, I don't know if you can make it out, there's a spread of 7 and a standard deviation of uh, 2.7. Um, 
Stefan is a master setting up his uh, his impact uh, for for those kind of strengths. So uh, I'm not surprised to see that <laughs> that that it's actually a pretty good strength. But yeah, uh, from here on, it's time to uh, change the liner into a 600 millimeter liner and say what's the difference. Stefan has now set up the gun with the 600 millimeter liner. So let's see what the difference is. But is there gonna be a difference? Okay, I think the 600 millimeter liner has uh, proven its point, uh, but uh, as you can see, there is a kind of a, a big spread uh, and, a, and a big standard deviation. Standard uh, spread of uh, 21 and a standard deviation of 7. But we need to remember that this gun uh, is not tuned uh, for the 600 millimeter liner. And on top of that, I would say that from my experience uh, with the M3, the regulator pressure does not need to be as high as it is on, um, on Stefan's gun here. So I would say that he can easily lower the pressure to around, I would say, 110, 115. Yeah, maybe 110 would be a, would be a very good guess. Um, to get uh, the same velocities that he had um, with the 500 millimeter liner. We are shooting the GSB 13.43 grain slugs and on, uh, on these guns, um, at least my experience uh, with both the 500 and the 600 millimeter liner is that it likes the speeds around 980, 990 depending on the, the temperature and everything. So as for, for this test, I'll say, say that the, the 600 millimeter liner has definitely proven its worth. But then, should you change uh, your liner from a 500 to a 600? I would say yes. But the thing is that uh, the 600 millimeter liner is currently not available uh, anywhere. At least I haven't seen it in, uh, in 177. So that was actually one of the ideas why uh, I went and, and bought my uh, M3. Of course, there are a number of upgrades uh, on the M3 that's, uh, that are very, very nice. Uh, and if you want to get further into that, you can go back and check my, my last video where I, uh, I go into uh, the specifics uh, around the M3. But uh, as for this test, it has proven that uh, the 600 millimeter liner is definitely worth uh, getting uh, when it becomes available. The last thing uh, I want to mention, they are both uh, superior liners and there are some 20 feet per second uh, in gain if you have the 500 millimeter liner and you go from the normal STX into a superior liner. And then when you change into a, a, a pin probe from a pellet probe, you will have a, a gain and that's not necessarily be because of the, the probe, the pin probe, uh, but because the pellet probes are usually not lined up 100% correctly. So that's not the reason why you, you get the gain from, uh, from that. But using the human transfer port is a huge advantage. And I actually don't remember the, the gain that, that you get from, uh, from changing. Uh, Stefan just uh, changed it recently. Do you remember? Around like 30 or 40 feet per second, just from uh, updating from a uh, the, the normal uh, transfer port with the, the one little pellet uh, hole in it uh, and onto the Humor dual transfer port. So this is the setup that, that we're using and we've been testing back and forth uh, quite a lot to, uh, to, get the, to get the velocities. But it's not just about the velocities, it's all about getting the pressure down so you have more shots and of course uh, getting more accuracy. Let me know what you think about this and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. But uh, as for this one, it's a uh, Viking Air Gunner, Peter P and Stefan the Magic Maker, uh, who's signing out. Take care and uh, pew, shoot safe.